everybody we are out here just a day before the release of the emerald coast map that okay that that was completely unplanned <laughs> i did not realize there was a piebald fallow deer standing right there okay um that actually shocked me i think i spotted every other fallow deer to my left and in front of me besides that one i wow all right well that'll actually be pretty Interesting, because what we're out here to actually do, for if you've read the video title, is we're comparing uh, what the fallow deer look like now uh, versus what they'll look like uh, once the Emerald Coast DLC is out, because they are getting a rework. And I will also be going and doing one of these for the red deer, as they're getting one as well, and one for the Axis deer, because they are also getting a little model rework. Um, but yeah, did not expect that at all. I definitely wanted to get a couple different of the fur variations here, which will have two right in front of me right here, which is why I chose this specific um, area. And then we can also grab that piebald because we are out of range of spook. We should be out of range of spooking it when we take these two down. Uh, and we'll get a pretty close up look at their models and fur textures. And then we can get a, a better comparison of them once Emerald Coast is out. And I'll also be going back to my lodge to look at the ones that I have in there. Because I know I have a Melanistic Fallow Deer in there as well. I believe I also have a Piebald one in there too. Um, but that'll just be something we can also look at. Maybe there's different Piebald patterns. I don't actually know. But we'll be able to look at both of those uh, in the lodge once we get these two right here. So first we're just going to take out our 308. And hopefully... Just... Ooh. I should have taken that shot a little sooner. It will go down. Let's just make sure... Oh, we did spook it, but no matter. That should... Oh, the first shot probably did enough, I just realized. That'll go down quickly as well. We got our three fallow deer down. One of them is floating across, it looks like. So we're just going to wait for that one before we do get the other ones. And then we'll get a pretty good look at their fur. And our first one has floated in, so let's get this trophy here. 218 scoring dark fur type male. Very... I mean, I don't know. That's because this is what fallow deer look like. And I guess we can get kind of close up here. Um... So this is me in editing right here. I wasn't really sure what to say at this point while I was gathering the fallow deer, so I wasn't really saying anything. I was started laughing when I noticed his position here, but you're not going to hear it. Um, I just wanted to get a good look at what the fur looked like, because again, I wasn't sure exactly what I was doing at this point, but it's all part of the process, and this is going to be the finished footage, I guess. So here we are. Second shot was definitely the vital, though, so that's good. We at least saved the, uh, the trophy organ. The, the... That looks, still looks beautiful. I really like how this piebald looks. I don't remember. I don't think I've seen the new model piebald yet. It might have been revealed that I might have seen it, but I probably forgot, to be honest. Um, but we'll get this guy. Just a little silver piebald. Intestines first, but then we got into the right along with that follow-up shot. So that's nice to see at least. We will taxonomize that to keep and not to get rid of later. But we got that guy. Uh, very close to my second piebald fallow. So very nice to see. And so now cat. here we are with everything in the lodge. We got our piebald and then we got our spotted, our dark. Uh, that's dark spotted and our dark all here on this little uh, huddle multi-mount that we have made. So we've got them all there, so we can get a good comparison um, tomorrow once it releases. And we'll do some side-by-sides then and compare, and then I'll run back here to show um, the other one that we'll be looking at, which has our, uh, you know, our multi-mount here, which has our melanistic, our diamond, and our other piebald, which I should have checked which one scored higher. 142.2. I already forgot what the other one was. I want to say this one might be a little bit bigger over here. So maybe we'll have to swap that guy out. 
and he was not, so he will not be. 138. But yeah, um, we'll be back here once it's out, and we can compare what the fur looks like, and we'll do some side-by-side, -side, and it'll be pretty exciting. And here we are after the release of the Emerald Coast, and what a difference these fallow deer have. Especially looking at this piebald, the, you know, the one that we just shot uh, the other day. It looks beautiful. The, the patterning looks great. The little like white splotches that almost look like the regular spots that would, uh, a fallow deer would have on there look phenomenal. Uh, the model itself, you can see near the hindquarters and tail and around the uh, neck and shoulders there, there's just more fur. There's more of a texture, less of a flat looking texture that it was in the previous ones. Um, I should have a side by side up here. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm looking one off to my on my second monitor to kind of compare. Um, but I should have it up on the video if I can edit things properly, which I think I can. Um, but yeah, this, the new, new, new fallow dealers look phenomenal, especially the pie ball looks so good. I would love to see one with, you know, maybe a bigger rack, but maybe one day. Um, and then comparing them to the regular fur types over here, just what a difference. Um, the regular spotted fallow deer, uh, which is this one right here. Looks way different. The spots are so much more noticeable. Again, with the same, you know, fur on the the chest and you know shoulder area. Looks so good. And then in the middle there is the dark spotted, which same thing. The spots are so much more noticeable. And just in general, looks it looks so good. Especially looking at the details on the face now. And fallow deer weren't one of those species that I really thought like looked that bad previously. But then when you see the new model, it's like. Holy, they look so good. And let's look at the regular dark one right there. And then the last thing we want to look at is our other rare, the Melanistic, which I got a little peek up before I started recording here. And he looks so good. There's our diamond. And here is our Melanistic. It almost looks like, like brown, like sort of like the chocolate would look like. Uh, but just all throughout, it looks so good. I ho hope I can get the side-by-side -side up there as well. Um, yeah, just a phenomenal looking, looking change there. And the same piebald pattern on, uh, this one than the other one in there again. But yeah, just absolutely beautiful looking models. Again, with the, the neck and chest area there with the more fur, uh, and then near the hind quarters and the tail. A little bushier and all that the, the the new model is phenomenal i really like it i think it looks they just look amazing um but yeah that is now that's just uh wrapping up this uh, you know highlighting the changes between the fallow deer from then versus now and let me know what your thoughts are i i definitely think it's an improvement i don't think anyone can say they went backwards that would be pretty preposterous if you ask me but you know opinions are valid so if you can back that up i'd love to hear it and let me know what your favorite part of the emerald coast is um and with that thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far i appreciate you so so much um but you're now leaving the danger zone so stay safe out there and i hope to catch you back here next time bye